For what we can tell, we've had millions of years of dinosaurs. And they lasted a lot longer than we have. And we're supposed to be intelligent. So things will come and go. Maybe next time it will be a lot of viruses that will be the main civilization. Possibly they are already. Nobody really knows what goes on in a viral civilization, in a viral universe spread amongst us. They're certainly winning the fight. A schizophrenic economic situation. You have a large part, mainly in the West, so called uh, developed countries, who are relying on this old economic picture, which is infinite growth and productivity and consumption. Every year you've got to have more growth. Every year you've got to have more productivity, which means every year you've got to consume more. But when you live on a planet which is limited, there's only so much here. If we go from inside the atmosphere down to the center, at some point that runs out. No matter which way you cut the cave, there's a limited amount of stuff. Now, where's that going to come in? Viruses and bacteria. They will save the day. They always do. They'll come rushing in and wipe us out. And let the planet breathe for whoever knows how many billions of years. And something else will crawl up out of the oceans. And it'll start all over again. A different species, different agendas. We really won't even recognize what the creatures are. It'll be wonderful. Something new.
Success in this is all well enough, and perhaps is a requisite to objective thinking, but too much safety seems to yield only danger in the long run. Perhaps this is behind Thoreau's dictum, in wildness is the salvation of the world. Perhaps this is the hidden meaning in the howl of the wolf, long known among mountains, but seldom perceived among men. Outside the pale, as to weather and die. Beyond the pale, there are only dressed up. Each day, like 
alarm clocks. They perform like sales. They die. Like box office. Like box office. Proceeds. They perform like sales. They die. They die. They perform like sales. They die. They die. Each day. Each day.
for doing this in the rain. We have been talking about it. Thank you. That's a microphone. Okay. I will do it over the microphone. Do you have all umbrellas? There, there's even more umbrellas inside the door, left around the corner, so you can relax. It's just about the shoes. So if you have okay shoes now, and if you have an umbrella, this little rain is not the end of the world. Thank you. I heard that the day tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, it will be sunny, and uh, we can take them as souvenirs, and you can be happy uh, owners of this outstanding event. Being with 300, 400, I don't know how many you are, synthesizer people and uh, interested people in electronic music and um, uh, listeners of our dear friend Jan Thiersen from France. Again, thank you, Jan Thiersen. I just wanted to let you know this is not the end of the world. And uh, originally, in two minutes, there's another concert going on at our stage next to the Finn Britain that I don't know how many of you have seen the wonderful things we set up in the park. And there's a walk through the uh, forest with all the tents next to the Badesee. And then along the Badesee, through the dark of the night, there's some lights on that way. And then we installed the wonderful um, Finnbühne, and this is the, the first concert on that stage right now, because I expected to have the sun today, but we have it tomorrow. But uh, I would um, like to ask you, friendly, to join us, to not let the artist on that stage alone. And we go there now, and at the Finnhütte there's even more drinks, and I heard that this will not be the end of the world, so um, I would kindly ask you to join us, get a drink from wonderful Hermann and Nicole's uh, bar over there, Tante Fritzante is still there, have a drink and we'll make a smooth walk through the park and then we see over there for another concert that is a bit more fall to the floor, you know, if there's something too wet in the feet then uh, you have to do this and then it's uh, feeling good again. And if you need more umbrellas, they're around there, take them with you, and then we end up somewhere then the forest. It's anyway the way to the S-Bahn. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah.